Hello and welcome to my Descript eye contact tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how it works and giving you a quick review of this feature overall. If you would like to test it out, I will leave my link down below where you can actually get Descript for free or at least use the free version. And the good thing about this feature is that it actually comes with the free plan so you can at least check it out and see how it works. I created a brand new account just to show you how to start from scratch, so let's do that now. What we want to do is once we are actually logged in, we can click on the plus new right here and do video project. Now that we are here, what we want to do is click on add file, assuming you already have a video file that you want to correct the eyes on. And when you find your file, just double click it. It's going to give it the name of it here. Speaker name, we can just leave blank and I'm going to click on done. Okay, give it some time. It's going to add the transcription for it. And once that is done, I will get back to you and I will show you how it works. All right, so what I'm going to do is just play this example video just to show you where my eyes were looking. And then, of course, I'm going to show you how it works when you utilize this feature to correct it. So let's just click on play. I'm going to stop talking and then I'm going to be talking in the actual video right here. So with Descript and the eye contact, you could actually be slightly looking over and what's going to allow it to do is just focus right back where it should be. I'm going to move a little bit over that way and of course with this, all you have to do is pretty much click a few buttons and it'll be back to the beginning, which happens a lot. You know, you might get distracted, you're looking at other things, but I'm going to show you how it's done right now. All right, so there you go. You could see how that works where I was just looking different directions. And this is very helpful because if you have a longer video and you find that you might be doing that a few times, all it takes is a few clicks to your mouse. So Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna go right back to the beginning here. I'm gonna click on the actual video. And what we wanna do is click on the plus button where effects is, and then we have eye contact. Keep in mind, it's still in beta, which I think is awesome. So it's probably gonna get even better in my opinion. So let's click on this. And keep in mind, it's gonna take some time, wait till it gets to 100%. And once that is done, I will get back to you and I will show you the other version of it. And I'll kind of go back and forth to turn it off, turn it on to show you where the eyes differ and how they're more centered and looks better overall. So with Descript and the eye contact, you could actually be slightly looking over and what's gonna allow it to do is just focus right back where it should be. I'm gonna move a little bit over that way and of course with this, all you have to do is pretty much click a few buttons and it'll be back to the beginning, which happens a lot. You know, you might get distracted, you're looking at other things, but I'm gonna show you how it's done right now. All right, so now that that is done, what I'm gonna do is have you watch the full video. And remember, I used my finger to kind of point where I'm gonna be looking because once it changes it, you're not gonna really know all that well because if it does its job correctly, it's gonna be looking much more straight. So let's play it and you can see the difference. With Descript and the eye contact, you could actually be slightly looking over and what's gonna allow it to do is just focus right back where it should be. I'm gonna move a little bit over that way and of course with this, all you have to do is pretty much click a few buttons and it'll be back to the beginning, which happens a lot. You know, you might get distracted, you're looking at other things, but I'm gonna show you how it's done right now. All right, that was pretty great if you ask me. So here's another cool thing. So let's see, I'm gonna go where I started Pointing. I'm going to look slightly over here. So this is where I was actually moving my eyes over. So if we actually click on this right here, we go back to effects or excuse me, we go to, let's see, we already have it here. Sorry. We have eye contact here already. I can just turn it off and on. You can see the difference. So off you'll notice. Do you see that? That's the difference in how much better it is. And in my opinion, that's really good. Like I was really looking over there and then I'm going to move a little bit over this way. So this was when I was looking the other direction. I'm going to click here. Uh, we have effects and there you go. So like, could they be over a little bit more? I mean, that's pretty good if you ask me, right? Maybe like this could be a little bit over to that way, but I think overall compared to that, to having that, that is a huge improvement and that is really good. And let's see, I was doing, if you're looking at other things, so there we go. Once again, just looking straight ahead. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Cause when you think about it, if you're doing a video, maybe you're reading a script or like a fly catches your eye or anything, whatever it is for any odd reason you move over, just being able to go in there and click on your video, do eye contact and have it render and fix it. That's going to be a pretty big deal if you ask me. So there's not a whole lot to review in terms of this. So far, I think it's great. It is still in beta, which means there could be much more room for improvement. I think it's fantastic already just for being out, like I said before, kind of repeating myself, but I think this is a great little feature added to it. There's going to be some tips when it comes to this, something I've noticed from using it multiple times. I'm going to head on over to their actual article here to read them for you. 
So this is something to keep in mind when you're doing this, like just for me applying it myself, you don't want to be like completely moving your head to the left and right. Like if you're like head banging or something like that, you know, like you're really whipping your head around, it's probably going to not work too well, right? So it says use eye contact on videos of a single person with their eyes clearly visible, of course. Avoid excessive movement in the video, right? That's what I was talking about. Like if you're really rocking back and forth with your head, probably not going to do all that well, okay? Use studio lighting or other well-balanced lighting setups instead of backlighting for optimal results. Mine probably could have been a little lighter. I just did it in my office very quickly, but that was that. Minimize extreme angles between the face and the camera. A straight on angle generally provides the best outcome, kind of like how I was straight on, could be a little bit more centered on my head. And also something to keep in mind, I do wear glasses and contacts. Here I obviously had contacts, but it says if the person wears glasses, reflection on the lenses may affect eye contact. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, I didn't put them on just for that specific reason. So if you have contacts or maybe you don't need your glasses for doing your video and you're gonna be utilizing that, that's something to keep in mind. But overall, that was my Descript eye contact tutorial and quick review. I really like what they got going on for this. I know many times I've done so many videos where it was face to face and I looked on over. I was thinking, I was going, hmm, um, they can remove that. You know, they can have your eyes going straight. A nice little addition to Descript. And should you want to test that out, I will leave my link down below where you can test out this specific feature and many others that Descript also has. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.